Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about some of the best ways you can use Audacity to improve the sound of your voice. We'll be focused more on speaking instead of singing in this tutorial. We'll go over proper microphone technique, recording levels, cleaning up noise, and compressing your track to get a good sound. So the first part of recording your voice is the microphone technique. Since we are recording speech, we'll use a fairly sensitive microphone that can record the subtleties of voice. We recommend a large diaphragm condenser microphone instead of a dynamic, which is usually less precise but good for recording louder instruments. Next we'll talk about using a pop filter. These are fairly cheap and a good way to avoid plosive sounds. You may or may not need one depending on how your microphone is built. Some people may also choose to record with the microphone off-center so that any blasts of air that would cause a pop don't hit the microphone, but this can change the sound of your voice so we don't always recommend this. The last thing you'll want to check before you start recording is your level. In our situation, we are using a standard XLR microphone so we'll adjust the preamp. For those with a USB microphone such as the Blue Yeti, just adjust the level on the microphone. You want to set the level high enough so that you get a good clean recording, but not too high so that you'll get clipping if you talk too loud. Specifically, if you tend to yell, I would recommend setting the level much lower and adjusting it during editing. So now you can go ahead and record your entire podcast or commentary and then move on to editing. When editing, we like to start with removing any background noise our microphone would have picked up. First, we select a part of the track that's just noise at the beginning. We want to make sure there are no clicks or anything, that it's just a consistent noise sound. Then we can set the selected noise as the noise profile. Now we'll remove noise from the rest of the track. So we'll select the entire track and use the noise reduction plugin. One, two, three, four, five. The next step is to clean up the spaces between our speech. There are two ways we can do this. The first is with a noise gate and the other is by manually selecting these spaces and generating silence. Since Audacity doesn't have a built-in noise gate, we'll just clean it up with silence. You can choose to add a noise gate by adding a plugin you'll find online. This step is necessary to remove breath noises, which tend to get an underwater-like sound after the noise reduction plugin is used on the track. One, two, three, four, five. The final step to processing your recording is to level out the volume. You can do this using the compressor effect. The default settings are fairly good for voice and they will even amplify the track after it's finished. This leaves you with a consistent loud level all the way through without any clipping. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks for watching this video on using Audacity to record voice for podcasts or commentary. If you want to learn more, you can check out our other videos on screen to learn more about different audio effects that are used when recording, as well as some quick tips that will get you started if you're new to Audacity. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and give us a like. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links to our social media are found in the video description.